It's a cracking morning. I've been out for an hour or two already. Just to see if there's any foxes about. Uh, there isn't. So I'm now going to do my damnedest from this high ground to Wacky Crow down on the low ground down there. There's plenty of rabbits about. However, I'm not going to take any rabbits today. OK, I've got a crow, 221 yards away. I've got 21 clicks elevation and no wind. Okay, absolutely perfect still HMR day. I'm shooting on probably a 15 degree angle down. However, I've not made any adjustments for that over this range. Okay, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. As you can see, I've got the sun directly behind me, which assists. Okay. Okay, and if you have a look at my settings there, it looks like 20 clicks, but it's not. It's 21 clicks elevation I've got on zero wind and I set my parallax to 200 yards okay I've given it another 15 minutes or so in case any other crows came back to the same tree to mob that one uh, they haven't done uh, so I'm going to reset my settings back to zero okay Okay, we're just en route back to pick up that crow. However, there are some more rooks and crows in a field next to it. So I'm just seeing if I can get a bit closer. Possibly take another shot. Okay, this one's 170. I've got 10 clicks elevation. And I've put two clicks on for wind right. This is a very slight wind coming across from this position and parallax is set at 150 Okay, just slightly high on that one. I get asked quite a few times on how I make my calculations. Um, and it's, it's uh, quite well known on this channel that I use Tutor by Sean Kennedy. I also use an app called uh, Streloc, which is almost overtaking Tutor now, I think, in what you can do with the app. However, I don't come out into the field and use the app. I just use that app to get some of the data. And what I do is, just underneath the neoprene sleeve on the stock, I keep a small laminated card. And all I do is I refer to this any time I need to look at the data. OK, and going left to right across the top, I don't know whether you can see it. I've got the range in yards and I've got that going from 30 right up to 300. Uh, bullet drop. Um, I have to look at you see right out to 37 inches at 300 yards and I've got minutes of angle how many minutes of angle uh, of elevation I need for that range and then how many clicks and I'm using a quarter minute of angle scope and then I've got my wind 
wind speed or how much it will push it across in a 10 mile an hour wind. Okay, and if I get a 5 mile an hour wind, I'll just half those values. And if I get anything else, I'll divide it by 10 and multiply by that figure. Okay, so it's a, it's a, a very good easy reference point to have. As you can see though, I don't always get it right. Um, I was perhaps being a little bit cocky then and going for a headshot. And I've, I've probably gone half an inch high. Okay, so that'll either be myself or the settings that are slightly out. But, yeah, I miss them just the same as everybody else. Okay, let's have a look at it. Just a young word. And the bullets bullets come out through the front of its chest. Uh, and it will have gone in. Gone in there somewhere at the back. Okay. I was aiming for about there where my little finger is. Okay, that's one less so that can't breathe. Okay, and the shot was taken, it's a little bit hard to see now, just below, just below the uh, skyline up there. Okay, I know I said that we all miss from time to time, uh, and, it, and it's true, we do. Uh, with that crow I just shot at before, the one that went just over its head, I was a little bit concerned about that as I don't normally miss them at that range. Um, so I've just spent a few minutes checking the zero and for some reason I found it was uh, half a minute of angle high which doesn't quite make sense because I dropped that crow in the tree no issues at 221 with the correct calculations however I have now re-zeroed the rifle I'm now going to find something at, at, at a more realistic distance of the HMR um, to test out my settings now at something other than the zero distance. Okay, I've just re-zeroed my rifle. It was a tiny little bit high, and I'm just going to test it out. I've got a rabbit at 175 yards away. Nothing wrong with that, straight through the head. Okay, straight through the head. Okay, and that, if you can see that now, that's a classic, classic sign of a headshot in a rabbit. Okay, for those people that are watching that think that is still alive, I can assure you it isn't. Okay, nice little rabbit, and as you can see there, proper headshot. Okay, and that'll be a nice bit of ferret food for them today, it won't go to waste. 